Welcome back. State leaders across the country are already working with school systems to identify opportunities of suicide prevention, and this year so is South Carolina. Fox Carolina's Brittany Martin shows us how they're hoping to make school a safe and healthy environment for kids to learn. They're afraid that talking about it might cause more suicide. That is a myth. That is not the truth. The truth is not talking about it could cause more to happen. Using schools to take power away from the word suicide. We do have a crisis going on in our state and across the nation. And that's not just of teenagers and school, young people, violence against others, but violence against themselves. In June, South Carolina State Superintendent Molly Spearman stated that suicide prevention will be a top priority in the 2019-2020 school year. We're going to have some training videos for our teachers to watch, but also students. We're also holding an anti-bullying summit for students uh, in September that we hope students from all across the state will come. Our schools are working on anti-bullying issues because that too can affect the mental health of our students. According to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, in South Carolina, suicide is the second leading cause of death for ages 10 through 24. Recent statistics from AFSP show that suicide attempts for 10 to 14 year olds has doubled in some counties. I'm so glad that suicide's part of the conversation because it's often left out. Alex Caridi with the Department of Mental Health's Office of Suicide Prevention says a lot of times teachers, students, and parents don't talk about suicide. It comes from a place of fear. You know, when we're scared of, of something, we tend to miss it, avoid it, dismiss it. Um, so what I would tell a, a lot of those individuals is that not to be scared because with knowledge and with opportunity to learn how to help somebody, you can save a life. Suicide prevention will be talked about at elementary, middle, and high schools across the state. We'll have to adjust what we say to make it age appropriate, but it has to be talked about. We have an opportunity there to teach kids and parents how to understand distress, how to understand feeling sad, um, and how to cope with disappointment. Recent research shows that 97% of teachers believe that suicide prevention was a part of their job, but only 77% actually know what procedures to follow. They're very appreciative. The school personnel are anxious uh, to learn. They want to be better prepared. I think teachers want to be better prepared. And while it's one more thing for us to do, it's something that we have to do. With bullying on social media growing every day, Spearman has this message to parents heading into the fall. Put the phone down, uh, look across the table, talk with your children, and ask them, you know, how was your day, what's going on, and just really be a shelter for them when they come home from school so that there's a place to talk, someone to talk with about what's going on. Brittany Martin, Fox Carolina News. If you or anybody you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, you are asked to call the suicide hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. The number is on your screen. We also put a link to several resources and programs available under the As Seen On section at foxcarolina.com.